Hello and welcome to March's edition of this month's experiment at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. This month we're selling biology at the, celebrating biology at the Fleet. Be sure to check our website for additional information. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Peter Soy. Today we're going to extract real DNA from a banana. I'll explain what you're going to need for this experiment and introduce our guest presenter. Remember, you can find written instructions for this and the other experiments on our website at rhfleet.org. What you're going to need for this experiment is half of a banana, peeled, a quarter cup of distilled water, a plastic sealable bag, shampoo, a plastic cup, table salt, chilled 90% isopropyl alcohol. Now you'll need to prepare this one in advance. You can stick it in your refrigerator and it will chill in about an hour. A narrow tube like a spice jar, a spoon, a coffee filter, and something to stir with. And today, we have science educator Elena Banks, who will help us explain how to do this experiment. Take it away, Elena. Thank you, Peter. And today, we're going to do a fun and, and kind of messy experiment with DNA. First, what you're going to need is you're going to need a half of a banana and a resealable container. Place the banana in the baggie with one-fourth cup of distilled water. Then you're going to need to make sure that you seal the bag tightly and really squish up the banana. You're going to make a slurry. It's going to be gooey and cold, but that's okay. The more you do this, the better it will become. So you're going to crush the banana for about two or three minutes until you really get all the chunks out. Okay, and I've made one right here, and this is what it's going to look like after you've squished it up very finely. Okay, and we're going to put this aside and use this for a, a next step. In another clean container, what you'll add is one teaspoon of shampoo. And it doesn't matter what kind of shampoo you want to use. You can also use um, soap, dish detergent. All right, and then you'll put that in your cup and kind of just let it dribble down. Okay. And you can use a popsicle stick to help get it out. Then you will need two pinches of salt and two large pinches of salt. One, two, and four teaspoons of distilled water. Next, you'll need to stir this slowly until the shampoo uh, is dissolved in with the water and also the salt. And you don't want to get too many bubbles. To this solution, you're going to add two, uh, two teaspoons of your banana slurry. And you want to stir for approximately five minutes. Now this is going to take a little while, but you want everything to be incorporated in. And remember to stir it slowly so you don't get a lot of bubbles. And I've made one right here. And this is what it looks like, slightly brownish. What you're going to do to this is you're going to add it to another clean cup with a coffee filter right on top. Now it's important not to get the coffee filter um, down at the bottom. You want it to rest just on top. And take your banana and soap slurry and you're going to pour it right on top. And you're going to let it drip down for just a couple minutes and you'll see it's already starting to drip down. And this is what you're going to use for your banana uh, extraction. Now, I've also done another one. And this is what it kind of looks like. You'll need enough to cover the bottom so that you can put it in your test tube. So, now that that's done, what we'll do is we'll add two teaspoons of isopropyl alcohol to a test tube or what you can use is a spiced jar. So you can add a, a spice jar or a test tube if you don't have one at home. There you go. All right. Now, you will add two heaping spoons of banana slurry and it's the I mean the banana uh, oh hmm. 
You'll now need to add two heaping teaspoons of your banana mixture from the bottom. And you're going to add it to your isopropyl alcohol. And this will take a couple minutes to precipitate. The DNA is soluble in water, but not in alcohol. And you'll notice that it'll start to uh, form a layer and come up towards the top. And let's see, this is about two minutes later. And this is what it looks like. And you'll notice a lot of bubbles and some white, um, white DNA and proteins. And then after some time, you'll notice that there is even more. And if you want, you can take this out and you're going to spool it with a uh, skewer, a bamboo skewer, and you can kind of take it out and look at it. And if you have a microscope or if you'd like to look at it closer, this is what it looks like. So it's kind of white and gooey and that's banana DNA.